In this lecture, let's understand how to use a log chart of region API to dynamically create and register a range of character device numbers. This kernel API requires four input arguments, and this is the first one, a pointer. This is the output parameter for first assign number. Here at this place, you should mention a pointer where the first device number will be updated by the alloc chart of region function. As you can see here, this pointer is of type dev underscore t. That is actually a type dev data type for unsigned int 32 data type. All you need to do is you just create a variable of uh, this type dev underscore t and then mention the pointer here where the alloc chart of region will update the first assigned number. That's it. Second argument here is base minor. Here you mention the first of the requested range of minor numbers. You can request n number of minor numbers for a major number. The first minor number you can mention here. This argument usually is zero. Most of the time it is zero. Here in the count argument you can mention number of minor numbers required. And here you can give a name for range of device numbers. Remember that this is not a device file name. This is just a name you give for the range of uh, device numbers. Let's understand how to use this. Here is an example. First, you have to create a variable device underscore number of type dev underscore t. I will explain what exactly is dev underscore t and what's the format of that. This is just a 32 bit data type like uh, u in 32. In the alloc chart of region, the first parameter should be the address of this variable. Here, the first device number will be updated by the alloc chart of region. And here, the second parameter is a base minor. The first minor number you have to select. Typically, this is zero. And here, the number of minor numbers requested, let's say seven. When you do this much, seven device numbers will be created. Let's say 127 colon 0, 127 colon 1, 127 colon 2, all the way to 127 colon 6. Total count is 7. This is the first minor as per your request. It started from 0 because you requested that in this field. After that, 127 is a major number which is allocated dynamically by the alloc chart of region. This is allocated dynamically. I mean, a free major number will be used. So never guess this uh, major number. You cannot guess that. That is generated dynamically by the alloc chart of region. And the first device number is updated in this device number variable. And for this device number, you can give one name. And that name is this one. That's it. Again, I'm telling you, this is not a device file name. Remember that this is just a name you give to identify this device number range. So I hope you get the idea. Now, what does it return? The return type is int. Let's not worry about what it returns. Again, we will explore that later when we do error handling. For a time being, let's assume that so the call will always be successful. Later, we'll investigate what exactly is a return type. Based on the return type, you have to uh, take care of error handling that I'll cover in later videos. We are not worried about error handling for a time being. Let's move forward. Now let's explore the device number representation by using a alias name that is dev underscore t. That's a type def of uint32. So you know that the device number is a combination of major and minor numbers. In Linux kernel, dev underscore t type is used to represent the device number. It is an entity of 32 bits. Out of 32 bits, 12 bits to store major number and remaining 20 bits to store minor number. You can use the below macros to extract major and minor parts of dev underscore t type variable 
let's say you have a variable device number of type dev underscore t and if you want to extract the minor and major number out of this variable just use these macros minor and major these macros are uh, mentioned in uh, kdev underscore t dot h in the linux kernel and if you have major and minor numbers use the below macro to turn them into dev underscore t type uis number you can use mkdev so just pass the argument major and minor and it will give you a device number of type dev underscore t a device number is represented by the data type dev underscore t with that note i would like to end this lecture from the next lecture onwards let's get started with coding of our first character driver that is pseudo character driver